Okay guys, welcome to this video. In this video we will be unboxing the Samsung M3 portable external hard drive. Um, yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so we're just going to have a look at the packaging first. So obviously here you can see that like, it's just obviously just stating little facts about itself. Like, it's durable, it uses also a USB 3.0 which I think most external hard drives actually do now. Um, it's also compatible with USB 2.0 as well. It has a safety key, secret zone, which I don't really know what that is, and auto backups. The main reason you'll probably be getting a hard drive, and if you're looking at this video, is probably for your backups from the computer. Um, this is a 2 terabyte one on USB 3.0, and this here is just stating a couple of things that you could probably hold up to, about 160 hours of HD recordings, uh, 568,000 photos, and 500,000 um, songs. Um, and on the back here, it just says a little couple of things about itself that it's preloaded with software that's included. Um, also, the operating systems that you'll probably need is Windows XP Vista uh, 7 and 8 and Mac OS X, and then obviously any up to date ones that you have. Um, okay, so we're just going to get this open now to see what's actually in the box. Yeah. Put this to the side. Let's see what's in the black box. <coughs> Nothing in there. Okay, these are just little like manuals, little bits of paper about information about it. Um, obviously, from any of these countries. <laughs> or oh, wait, that's the actual. Um, Sorry about from those countries, if you speak any of those languages. Okay, so this is the main thing that we wanted to see. As you can see, it's pretty small to be honest, like, as thick as my finger and not bigger than my hand. So it's actually, it's a really nice size actually. And then obviously you get your USB 3.0 um, cable with it. Um, I'm going to jump onto my computer and we'll see if we have to set anything up for it. Um, also the design on it isn't just flat. It's actually got like a little rigged kind of fill on the top and it's like quite glossy as well. So yeah, we're going to jump onto the computer and see if there's anything to set up on it. Okay, so now we're on the Mac. We're going to go into our finder and scroll down on your side. It should be under devices. Uh, here's the, here it is, Samson. Um, and what you're going to have to do, right now I can actually drag, sync and drop in, but when you first plug it in you won't be able to. Um, because what you've got to do is you've got to click on Macintosh driver and just install this. After you install it, it will just reset your computer and then you'll be able to drag and drop things on here. And as you can see here, I can open a new folder. I'll put up a little video quickly of me right clicking it before when I didn't put it on there. And you could see right now that it won't actually let me make a new folder, and that's what I was actually looking to do. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, so simply go to Macintosh driver if you're on a if you're on a Mac obviously and then install that the computer restart then you can start using this hard drive. It's a really good hard drive. Um, and I don't know if on PC, I think on PC you might be able to just go straight onto it or you might have to I don't know. You might have to go on like a Samsung Drive Manager or something like that. Uh, I'll probably this one here. Um, yeah, so guys that's it for the unboxing and just obviously setting it up. Now my my one's all ready to go. I can't complain. I hope this video helped you. If it did, uh, give it a like. Um, and obviously, if you enjoy any of my other videos, you can always subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, as always, please have a great day.